An ambitious effort to document coral reefs around the world is making its first stop in U.S. waters. And the whole project is taking a page from Google Street View. Researchers hope a better understanding of marine sanctuaries is the first step in saving them. The Florida Keys are home to the only living barrier reef in the United States. But life here has changed dramatically. Just ask Sylvia Earle, the world-renowned oceanographer. When you look at a coral reef, you're looking at a, a snapshot of the ocean processes that on a grand scale make this blue planet function in our favor. What's different about the present time is the speed of change and the fact that humans are the vectors of that change. It's like the ocean is too big to fail, right? Huh. Well, no, it is failing. It's up to us now. Earl says in the past 30 years, an estimated 40% of coral worldwide has been lost. That coral protects shorelines, sea life, and brings in big tourism dollars. And since you can't protect what you can't see, this unprecedented project is underway. A team of divers from the Catlin Seaview Survey is documenting the ocean's reefs the same way Google maps out streets. Full 360 degree views. Every angle of undersea life will go up online. High time is what I say because we've invested in technologies that enable us to map Mars and Jupiter and the moon <laughs> and the universe beyond. We've been missing out on mapping the ocean. This is the 21st country that we've done as part of a, a global survey of coral reefs. The 21st country? Yes. It's a big survey. It's a massive survey. Richard Vivers is leading the Catlin team, and he took us along for the team's first foray into U.S. waters. It's a very unique camera system designed around having three cameras which take a full 360 degree shot every two seconds. We've actually got a very clever system which is a, a tablet that operates the cameras. We've also got a altimeter which tells us the distance from the, the sea floor and we've got a military grade scooter to get us um, along the reef. What does this do that cameras couldn't do before? It's really being able to photograph the, the reef at scale. So traditionally you'd send in a diver and they'd go and photograph using a, a normal camera, and they might be able to do 100 meters in a dive, and it would take them an hour. We can do two kilometers with full 360 data um, and 1,000 shots in less time. The Catlin team has already taken more than 400,000 images, and there is reason for hope. A new federal study says reefs may be able to adapt to warmer sea temperatures, and there are signs new coral is coming back in the Keys. I know what can be again, because I've seen the change in places where real protection is given. And it's starting here in the Florida Keys. Fish need the coral, coral need the fish. It's a system. Wow. So beautiful. Sylvia's incredible. You guys want to go diving? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah she's got a, uh, there's a big documentary on uh, Netflix actually about her that, uh, that just came out. But I mean, 78, mm -hmm. still gets out there as often as she can. And who's um, paying for this whole mapping? It's Ka Catlin's an insurance company, so this actually helps them because a lot of the insurance work they do is on shorelines. So the more information they have about what's happening around reefs helps them. Hmm. Great story. Yeah. Really